everybody and welcome to the first episode of season number 3 of the Hertha Berlin career mode series. Today we'll be starting the third and the last season of this career mode because, you know, FIFA 16 is knocking on the door. Um, it will be released in September, so I hope that I should be able to finish season number 3 until uh, the demo of FIFA 16 comes out and then we'll be starting with FIFA 16 gameplay footage, but until then we're gonna have the last season of the Hertha Berlin career mode series. So, first thing is first, we have so many players joining the team, but first let's have a look, uh, let's have a quick look at our emails, the transfer market, alright, that's okay. Let's see what our objectives are for the Europa League. Uh, the board expects us to reach the semi-final, that's totally fine, we have to defend our title from last season as well. Also, Thomas Kraft is leaving the club to join Sporting Lisbon as a free agent. He refused to uh, renew his contract, so he'll be joining. But here it gets interesting. Lopez is joining the team, um, the goalkeeper. Um, Pereira also, a CDM, is joining the team as well. I'm gonna delete those emails because I don't want to get too confused. Jordan Henderson is joining the club as um, as a free agent as well. And also Jordan Shakiri is joining Hertha Berlin for this new season. Also we have a new uh, squad um, monthly report. I'm gonna check that in just a second off camera of course. And this is our budget for season number 3. We have 15.5 million euros transfer budget and 70k wage budget to spend in the of course in the uh, summer transfer window also let's have a look what our league objective is gonna be they want us to qualify uh, for the Champions League so that means basically we have to finish in the top four this season and also uh, for the domestic cup the board wants us to reach the round of 16 which is basically i think the second or third uh, round of the domestic cup okay so now we have received a transfer offer for our right back peter pekarik and i may consider selling him because we might get a new uh, right back and the left back as well so i will accept the offer from Werder bremen although i could ask for more but um, right now i'm gonna accept the three million uh, fee for Peter Pekarik and now I'm gonna um, inquire for some players, I'm gonna scout some players on that uh, positions left back and uh, right back and there's the confirmation Peter Pekarik has joined Werder Bremen for 3 million euros and we get 2.5 million. We have received an email from the Polish uh, Football Association, they offer us a new contract but I am going to reject the offer because I don't want to manage a national team in that final season. I want to concentrate only on the games with Hertha Berlin. So I am rejecting the offer from Poland. We have received another offer for another fullback. This time it is Johannes Vandenberg. He will be going to Paderborn for uh, 675k. I will accept the offer although I could ask for more but I am gonna accept this one. And we will be looking for two fullbacks, one left back and one right back respectively. Another offer this time is for a player we are looking to loan away for this season is Marius Gersbeck, our third goalkeeper. And I'm gonna accept the offer and he's gonna go to Darmstadt this season. We've received another couple of offers. The first one is for Jean Carles Casaleto. He'll go on loan at Bastia for this season and the second one, we'll see it in just a second, there it is, Salomon Kalou, Sampdoria offer 6 million for the striker, I am going to counter offer for what is worth, uh, which is 7.5 million and let's see if they will accept the offer, okay they have reviewed the offer and they offer 6.5 million euros, I'm gonna try 7 million and this is the last counter offer, maybe the next one I'm going to accept. Alright, now it's time to inquire for two left backs. The first one is gonna be Alexandro. According to our chief executive, he's worth like um, 16.9, 17, 17 million euros. But anyway, I'm going to inquire about him 
and also the same goes for Alberto Moreno. I think he will be a bit cheaper than Sandro. Also another player which I'm looking to sign is Mame Dio from Stoke City. I believe he played in the Bundesliga for a couple of while because, uh, before joining Stoke. But anyway, I'm going to inquire for him as well because, as you know, Salomon Kalou might leave the club this summer. Okay, Stoke have replied to our inquiry. They want 12.5 million for Mame Dio, but I am going to hold for now because I want to see how things will go with Salomon Kalou and which fullbacks we are going to end up buying. Here are the other two replies for our inquiries. Alexandro is worth 28 million euros and Alberto Moreno is 24 million. Okay, so now we have to we have to look for alternatives. And when I said alternatives, have a look at this Gal Clichy, 81 rated, although he's 30 years old. Now it is the last season for this career mode. His contract is expiring at the end of this season. I think they will uh, let him go for let's say 8 million or less. But anyway, I'm, I will inquire for him and let's see what Man City will say. Meanwhile, Sampdoria have agreed to uh, buy Salomon Kalou for 7 million euros, which is okay. So he will be leaving the club. Meanwhile, Man City said Gal Clichy will go for 11 million euros, which is much more better than Alexandra and Alberto Moreno. So I will try to get him. I will try to get Mame Diouf and most probably I will try to get another right back. I'm scouting some players at the moment, so I will get back to you when the scout reports have come back. All right, another loan offer for a player we are looking to loan away this season. It is Hani Mukhtar. Once again, he will be loaned out and this time he will play for Groita Fjord. Would you look at that? We have another offer for Salomon Kalou. I thought he was uh, going to join Sampdoria for 7 million euros. Okay, my, maybe this deal didn't come through. So uh, now it is Freiburg knocking on the door. We'll, we'll can counter offer once again for 7.5 million euros. So hopefully they will accept. Okay, now it's time to sim the first friendly of the season. We will be using our second team, our reserves for this one. It is going to be at home against Elche and they've got an early red card in the fourth minute of the match. Sebastian Langkamp scores in the 14th minute of the match and I'm going to skip and it's a draw 1-1 with Fidel scoring the equalizer in the 84th minute of the match. Yes, I knew it. Salomon Kalou has joined Sampdoria for 7 million euros and will be getting 6 million euros from that transfer and let's have a look. Uh, Roy Behrens will be out for about 3 days, which is absolutely nothing. Okay, now it's time to make our first offer for Mame Diouf and that's right, we're going to offer 8.5 million euro for him and let's see what Stoke will say. I'm sure they will uh, reject the offer, but still worth a try. Also, let's try a 6 million euro offer for Gal Clichy. Uh, maybe Man City will reject this one as well. But uh, still, I want to try this. We have received another offer. This time it is for one of our youngsters, David Holland. He will be joining Milo, Millwall on loan. And have a look at this. Manchester City had said that uh, the offer we've made is unacceptable. They want 8 million euros for Gal Clichy, which is uh, quite alright. But Stoke City have rejected and they have accepted an, a, an offer from another team. It is going to be Liverpool offering 10 million for Mame Diu. Okay, Liverpool have offered 10 million. We are going to offer 11.5 and this time I hope that we won't fail once again to sign another player. For Gael Clichy, we are going to submit uh, let's say 7.5 million and <laughs> try, I'm trying to get him as cheap as I can and hopefully they will accept this time. Anyway guys, this is where I'm going to end this first episode of the third season of the Hertha Berlin career mode and uh, we have made some things this episode. We have sold a couple of players, we have loaned out a couple of players, we have sold Solomon Kalou, we have sold, uh, um, I believe it was uh, uh, Vandenberg, yeah? We have sold Vandenberg, we have sold Peter Pekarik, so we are searching for two, uh, two full box and as well as a striker. So we're looking to sign Mame Diouf from Stoke, we're looking to sign Gael Clichy from Manchester City and 
I'm scouting a few right backs as you can see right down in the global transfer network. I was scouting some players on playing on the right back position, but uh, I'm, I'm going to wait for the scout reports to see uh, which player is worth signing. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this first episode of the new season. Hopefully you have enjoyed this one. If you did enjoy it, smash that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It's gonna be much appreciated. Anyway guys, I'm gonna see you in the next episode which is gonna be maybe tomorrow or the day after. But until then, take care.